Do you think that people who does think like that they should get deported? Yes, I yeah. think. And a lot of the immigrants get priority over the people who are born here. So it is kind of tough. Of course you should be deported or we should try to educate you. Gente fina, pra quem não me conhece, eu sou o Thiago Skol, se inscreva no meu canal, me segue lá no Instagram, se você precisar de carros aqui na região de Massachusetts, tem a JR Car Sales do meu amigo Francisco, o link da firma do Francisco está na descrição, o endereço, tudo certinho. Hoje, Thiago Skol, onde você está? Hoje estou aqui em Medford, aqui tem uma universidade, saindo de serviço agora aqui, e tive que fazer essa entradinha do vídeo, olha só que legal aqui. Fiz um vídeo aí pra vocês, pessoal. Fiz um vídeo com três americanos querendo saber o que, que eles acham dos imigrantes ilegais. Esse vídeo demorou um pouquinho, porque eu tive que achar duas pessoas na rua, é, dois desconhecidos, e fiz a entrevista com o meu amigo David, que é aqui fiscal de obras aqui no meu serviço também. Beleza? Espero que vocês gostem do vídeo. Deixa seu like, seu comentário, compartilhe o vídeo, se inscreva no canal, que é um vídeozão top. Eu acho que ninguém nunca fez isso. É... Pegando a opinião, o que, que os americanos acham dos imigrantes ilegais aqui nos Estados Unidos. Eu vou tomar um café, é café e nós vamos destrinchar sobre esse assunto. Só eu, você, você e eu, mas ninguém. Campada de gente fina. Então, campada. Olha só, camada. I have date over here with me. Hey, everybody. Dave, I don't know if you guys know, Dave. Uh, me and Dave, we, we already did a video together. We work together. We work together over here for the state. Dave, uh, okay, let's go for the questions. Okay, first, Dave, say hi to the people in Brazil. Hello, everybody. Dave, let me know here. Do you think that the illegals add anything in the United States? Yeah, I think you know you shouldn't come here illegally because you're breaking a law. But there are a lot of talented people that come to this country for work that are very smart and do add a lot to the United States. You, you think that some illegals there are smart, right? A lot of illegals are very smart and a lot of them work hard. Yeah. And they're willing to break the law to come to America because their country is that bad. Do you think that the illegals should get deported? I mean, that's the law. You know, if you get caught breaking the law, usually they do deport you. What I think is they should just levy a fine on you. Hey, we caught you. You gotta pay a little bit of restitution and then we'll allow you to get naturalized. You know what I mean? How do you feel knowing that you are paying for your health, for your health insurance, and you see a bunch of illegals who use the system and don't pay? It kind of burns, you know, people like myself's asses a little bit because I work hard, I pay my taxes, and my taxes pay for that. But there are a lot of Americans who fucking don't have health insurance either, and you know, they do the same, pretty much right? do the same thing. So who am I to complain? Are you afraid about losing your job for someone who is here illegally? No, no. No, I think I'm in a I'm in a specialized profession where, you know, I don't think I would lose my job. And if someone came here illegally and they were talented enough and knew enough to do my job, we should work pretty hard to try to get them a visa and naturalize so we can add them to the workforce. You know, we need people like that. So you think we we need we need people who who is professional? It's six to one, half a dozen the other. You know what I mean? Like you broke a law, you came here illegally, but you know we do need good peop people. People you people come here illegally because they want to be here. Yeah. Are you concerned about illegals taking American people jobs? Most illegals do jobs Americans are too lazy to do or they don't want to do. You know? Like, um, like, like it, what kind of jobs? Like picking fruit, uh, you know, manual labor, not a lot. I mean, believe like, it or not. You would say like they have labor? Like, yeah. Like you see a bunch of carpenters, roofing. Exactly. Uh, not a lot of people want to do it anymore. I grew up in the trades. My family's all tradesmen, so, you know, that was kind of like in my lineage. But a lot of those people are hard workers. They come here and they just want a better life. Good. Now I have a question here for you that I ask this to myself and I know the answer. Why do you think that everybody wants to come to the U.S.? Because it's the land of opportunity. You can come here with nothing in your pocket. And if you work hard enough and you're smart, you can make a good living for yourself or be rich. You can't do that in a lot of other places in the world, so... We I see am, a lot of people here who comes with just one suitcase My grandfather and, came here with nothing from Italy. 
You know, I, I get that. You know, I mean, I have a lot of friends that are immigrants that came here and started businesses and took the risk and put the hard work in that now have a great life. So I, I understand why people come here. Uh, Dave, I, I believe that if someone is illegally and is paying the taxes and who is working hard, I don't think that that person should get the part. But no. I think that if someone is illegally doing everything... If you Listen, if you're living off the system and you're here illegally, you're a drain on society. Of course you should be deported, or we should try to educate you and get you some skills so that you can contribute to society. If you're here illegally, you're paying timbre, and you're productive, you should have a chance to get naturalized and become a citizen. You obviously want to be here. You obviously want to follow the laws and pay taxes. I got no problem with that. Yeah, I agree with you. you All know? right, Dave. Hey, thank you very much. Anytime, man. Send a message. Who wants to come here? What they should do? What do you think? Well, unfortunately, the quota for immigrants is, you know, getting smaller and smaller from different countries. I mean, to do it the right way, it can take you years. I I'm not saying break the law. If you can do it legally, do it legally. If, but if you're from a if you're from an awful place, I don't blame you for trying to make a better life for yourself. I don't enforce the laws. I'm not in that field. <laughs> you know? That's that's why I like this guy. <laughs> so you are saying if you are in an awful place and then if you come here, no matter what, just come to improve your life. If you want to take the risk, I got nothing against it. Let's see, all right, Dave. Thank you. Anytime, brother. Então, cambada de enfim, todo mundo me fala, Tiago Scott, como que você fala inglês com essa cambada de americano? Uma dica, pessoal, uma dica é você estudar, é você estudar. E para você estudar, você tem que procurar uma escola boa, tem que procurar uma escola boa. Tiago Scott também estudou aqui nos Estados Unidos. Hoje, graças a Deus, graças à internet, você pode estudar direto à sua casa. E uma escola que eu recomendo é a escola do meu amigo João. Ele abriu essa escola, o João abriu essa escola que chama Rock Academy, uma academia de inglês que você paga somente R$ 99,00, tem várias promoções lá, vocês entram em contato com eles, eles têm professores americanos, lá tem a Leca também, a Leca é gente fina pra caramba, você aprende inglês também fácil dessa forma, se você quer aprender inglês igual o Thiago Skol fala com essa cambada aqui, tem que procurar uma escola, falar em escola, olha só essa escola aqui, que nós estamos aqui em... em Summerville, beleza pessoal? Vai lá na Rock Academy, vou deixar tudo aqui na descrição e eu vou lá entrevistar mais um americano. Vamos lá saber o que, é que eles acham dos imigrantes ilegais aqui nos Estados Unidos. Campada de. Lili aqui, Lili, manda um alô pro Brasil. Say hi to the people in Brasil. Hi everybody in Brazil. Dá um beijo. <laughs> Obrigado. Thank you for Obrigado. this. Thank you. How long have you been living in Massachusetts? Your whole life? My whole life. I'm yeah. from Cape Cod originally. Lots oh. of Brazilian guys on Cape Cod. Say hello to everybody on Cape Cod. Cape Cod is an area that has a lot of beaches, lots of beaches over there. Oh yeah, there's beaches everywhere. I love the beach. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Let me ask you something about this. What do you think about the... We know that over here in Massachusetts we have a lot of immigrants. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. What do you think about the illegal immigrants? Illegal immigrants? Yeah. I don't have a problem with them. No? No, no. no. I think that they deserve to be here. If they're already here and they have families, why would we take them away from their families? I think that's horrible. But what do you think about the, the ones that they come to US and to take uh, American people job? Like are you talking about Brazilians or are we talking yeah. about someone else? No, I'm talking general. The In general? Um, yeah. I mean, I know that I have some friends who have been in tough spots before and you know they need housing and a lot of the immigrants get priority over the people who are born here so it is kind of tough it is kind of tough because yeah. a lot of immigrants they come here like especially in massachusetts yeah uh, some illegals they don't pay health insurance yeah no they, they don't get pay taxes. everything for free they get money when they come here they get jobs they get houses you know they get all that immediately as soon as they come here so it's kind of you know, uh, it, it's it can be a little bit of of it can, unfair. It can be a little unfair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say that. You think that it, it is correct to deport the illegals? <sighs> that's a tough one. I think that's a tough one because once they're already here and they're with their families and things like that, I think it's kind of it's. I don't really think it's right to deport them. You know, I mean, what do you think about that? I think if they are. Uh, doing something wrong, totally wrong, like yeah. committing crimes. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's different. That's, that's different. different. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. But if they come here to work hard, because I believe that every 
like United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, we have borders. But yeah. those borders, they were created by human beings. Exactly. You know, because yeah. the world, when they were, was created by God, yeah. there was no borders. You know, I think exactly. we, we live in, um, in the same world, you know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but we, are all, we are all the same, but, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. You know, it it's, really is. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel for people who, who are just trying to come over here and live the American dream, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Your relatives, are, were they born here in the U.S. or they came from my, Ireland? My grandmother's Armenian. So Armenian? Her father came from Armenia. And um, my uh, grandfather's Irish. So his family came from Ireland. So both of my both of my family members, I wouldn't be here right now if they didn't come over. Both, exactly. both, both are were immigrants exactly and they probably when they came here they probably didn't pay taxes either yeah yeah right? probably not probably no. not my grandfather he had a lot of money he, he was the armenian one and um he owned a taxi company in watertown and uh he, my family got got pretty much rich off of that you know so he came over from armenia uh lived in a very poor neighborhood when he was in armenia um and he actually got pushed into a vat of concrete and uh he was because he had a new bicycle in armenia and all the little boys pushed him in because they were jealous so he became blind so when he came over from armenia he um he was blind but he ended up working really hard and uh created a taxi company my family you know we, we they did pretty good your family did pretty, did pretty good, good yeah as as many immigrants exactly it's because of what i what i'm trying to say because a lot of American people they say, oh, they 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 legals they should come here and they pack they they should pay taxes. I agree, yeah. they should pay taxes. Yeah. Some people they say, ah, oh, those Brazilians they come here to steal our money uh, and blah blah blah. Yeah. But they come here to work hard to exactly. to, to, to to get the American dream. Yeah, to get the American dream yeah. like everybody else. I know. Right. I know. Like me, like your family did. Yeah, exactly. Right? And it's it's so funny. Come on over, everybody. <laughs> yeah, come on over, come everybody. Come on over. Have fun with us. <laughs> it's so funny, right? Because you are an American. You are born here. Yeah. And then you know that what's what's the American dream. Oh yeah. But how do you feel being American and uh, born here already? Yeah. In the dream. You yeah. know what I mean? I know. Born into the dream. Born exactly, into the dream. Yeah. Exactly. Very. Yeah. That was a, you know, I, I was, I grew up and I was very lucky. I, um, I never wanted for anything. I grew up in a beautiful house on the beach and I just, I, you know, I, I was very lucky growing up. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody. Sorry about the mask, but I just... E agora, cambada de gente fina. A hora do abraço. Eu quero mandar um abraço para cambada de gente maravilhosa. Para o meu amigo Calisto, lá em Cuiabá, no Mato Grosso. Quero mandar um abraço para a Andréia Angélico, casalzinho do Instagram, lá em Guarulhos, São Paulo. Quero mandar um abraço para o meu amigo Paulo Henrique, em Santa Bárbara do Leste, Minas Gerais. Quero mandar um abraço para o cidade maravilhoso em qualquer cidade, Tiago Scott. A cidade de Mossoró. E o que, que tem lá em Mossoró? Lá em Mossoró é bacana, pessoal. Lá tem uma praia a 42 quilômetros de Mossoró. Tem uma praia. Não faz parte de Mossoró, mas tem a praia Tibaú. E tem também o um Memorial da Resistência Mossoróense. A Estação das Artes Eliseu Vetania. A Catedral de Santa Luzia. A Igreja de São... Vicente, a Praça da Convivência, a Biblioteca Municipal Ney Pontes, tem o Museu do Petróleo, olha que beleza, às vezes tem uma gasolina lá para nós, um abraço pro pessoal de Mossoró, mas lá em Mossoró, não dizia, nossa senhora, lá tem muito homem feio, você vai chegando, vai chegando devagarzinho lá, você chega assim, olha, não olha para os lados, você vai chegar, vai ter um tanto de homem feio sentado nos lados, o lugar para ter um homem feio, nunca vi, mas 500% das mulheres é tudo bonita, 500% dos homens é tudo feio, visite Mossoró, um beijo para vocês em Mossoró, Deus abençoe vocês, Deus proteja vocês, e agora vamos ver o que, que o, o Jason, vamos ver o que, que o Jason acha dos imigrantes ilegais aqui nos Estados Unidos. Jason, uh, thank you very much for... No problem. S stop by here. And Anytime. Jason, are you an American? Yes, I am. I'm you... American citizen, born in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Jason. Uh, I live in Metun now. You live in Metun, yes. yeah. Nós estamos aqui em Metun, pessoal. Nós estamos aqui em Metun. Eu vim aqui fazer um vídeo em Metun e encontrei o Jason e perguntei para ele uh, se ele poderia fazer essa entrevista. Jason, be honest with me. What do you think about the illegals in the US? As long as any person comes here to do the American dream, 
and they do everything by the book, by the law. I don't think, any, I think anybody deserves to be here in this country. You think that they should get deported? No, I don't think anybody should get deported. But How they, would you get deported for? If you, as long as you do your job, supply for your family, and do everything by the law, like I said, what's the point of getting deported? Dude, but if, if they don't pay taxes? If you want a free chance at the American dream, then yes, you should do everything by the law. Yeah. But I don't think it's fair for you to leave your family here because of for the reason not paying taxes. I mean, I, I think everybody should come to a mutual agreement. I see a lot of people, you know, a lot of people coming here, a lot of illegals, a lot of immigrants, they come here, they use the system, they use the health insurance, they don't pay taxes this way when, if they don't pay, if you don't pay taxes, you have a free health insurance, right? Well, uh, usually, if you pay taxes, you pay for your health insurance. Yeah, but if you don't pay taxes, if you get the money right. under I mean, the that, table... And then those are the type of people, those aren't hardworking people. Those people just want to get a free, get by for free. Most of us know how hard we work and know what the value of a dollar is. Yeah. Nowadays, nobody knows what the value yes. of a dollar is. Yes. Everybody just wants a free handout. Some want to pay taxes, but they want to get a free health insurance, but you think that it's fair? No, it's no, not No, it's fair. not fair. I don't think it's, it's fair not at fair, all. Right? Look, why is it fair for you to bust your balls or to to be a hard worker, me to be a hard worker, and then the next guy just trying to get everything for free off mine and your dollar. Yeah. Do you think that people who does think like that, they should get deported? Yes. I yeah. think, yes. Right? If, if, they, if that's how they think, I mean, if you want to do that, go do that somewhere else. Don't do it here. Like, you want, you want the American dream, then work for it. Yeah. Everybody should work for what they want. Exactly. I agree with you. Jason, now, a lot of Americans is here, some, some, they feel afraid about losing their jobs because... We have a bunch of immigrants here. Are you afraid about losing your job? No, I'm not afraid of losing my job. If you're good at your job and you're good at what you do, then that's on you. You don't want to work hard, that's on you. Yeah. But if you want to keep your job, then you should work to your expectation. And if, if unfortunately, if an immigrant does it better than you, that's your fault. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> All right, Jason, thank you very much. No send, a, send a message to the people in Brazil. Everybody in Brazil, how you doing? <laughs> thank you, brother. No thank problem. you. Então, campada, gente fina. Tiago Skol vai ficando por aqui, finalzinho de tarde aqui. Finalzinho de tarde, todo mundo aqui tranquilão, um dia gostoso aqui. Tiago Skol vai ficando por aqui, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Vocês viram isso, para você aqui nos Estados Unidos é muito importante você ter o seu inglês. Se você quiser aprender inglês de uma forma fácil, barata, dentro de casa tem a Rock Academy, pessoal. Eles estão com a promoção aí esse mês, esses próximos meses. Eu vou deixar o, o link da Rock Academy do meu amigo João, da minha amiga Leca. Tem professores nativos americanos para você que quer aprender um inglês, quer falar inglês assim, igual o Thiago Skull fala, é só dar um pulo lá e conversar com a Rock Academy, beleza? Pessoal, o Thiago Skull vai ficando por aqui, um videozão top, compartilha, se inscreva no canal, deixa o seu like, porque esse vídeo ficou bacana, esse vídeo ficou legal.